went to my GP surgery today for some blood test results and it measured cholesterol, Q risk, also sugar in my blood and it wasn't that good. Um, I think I have reached the diabetic stage now and I feel like I haven't had enough exercise and the diet has been poor because of the pandemic, but I shouldn't really use that as an excuse. So when I was told that, I was in a bit of a shock and a bit of a daze, thinking, okay, is this really happening? I knew that something was wrong, I just wasn't sure what it was. So, I was told to go on to the low carb, low fat diet. I'm not really sure where to start. Um, have loads of carbs in the house. I don't think I have a lot of veg and all that other good stuff for the diet. I need to get this down. I don't know how to do it, but I have to make a go at it and I'm sure I'll be fine. I think it's just this trying to do this that is the bit that I'm not sure about. I know I have to do it. Otherwise, it's going to lead to really bad things. So... So that's what I'm going to do. This is my journey towards um, this end goal. I'm not sure what the goal will be. I think that the weight loss will come as a result of it because I am going to go on a no or low alcohol. So it's going to be... So I think I'm going that route where I'm trying to cut all of that stuff out and processed sugars. So all the good stuff that I like, I won't be able to have anymore, which is sad because I have so much in the house. But I know in the future it would be better for me. So I'm not going to be a wimp about it and cry about it. So we're just going to chart my journey and watch the space. And I will fill you in on how things go. I went on a 5K run after work today. I was kind of motivated to get some endorphins going to try to get this whole healthier living in order. And it took me such a long time. Back then when I was doing it regularly, I think five kilometers took me just over 30 minutes, like about 31, 32 minutes. But today it took like about 42. So I'm not entirely happy with that, but I think it's a start point and I do feel better that I wasn't sitting on the couch. So I think it's a step in the right direction and I'll let you know how things progress along the way in terms of exercise as well as food choices are concerned. So yes, it's gonna be an interesting ride, so stay tuned. Ever since I found out that my Sugar level is above the pre-diabetic levels. I've taken the precaution to do a lot more exercise. I make myself go do jogs even when I don't want to. I am 
starting to also think about sugar levels in food. So I'm looking at things like low carb, low sugar or no sugar. Um, I'm being picky with fruits because I know that they have a certain amount of glucose levels. I'm also cutting out alcohol, which is challenging, but it's not that bad right now. And yeah, I'm just really picky with food, not sure what to eat so far. I have a call with the doctor and hopefully I could get some insight into what's good for me, what's bad for me, what I should avoid. <sighs> it's a learning curve and I think I'm doing okay. I am a bit hard on myself, but I think I don't really want to be in a, in the diabetic level. Um, I'm going to try to avoid it as best I can. So, so yeah, this is, so this is my day five after finding out that I have levels above pre-diabetic. I'm out early on a Sunday morning because I really need to get some of this exercise in before the weather and the temperature goes up today. So I am trying to really incorporate this more healthier lifestyle and kick any bad habits that I do know that I have. It's exhausting. I don't really want to do this, but as they say, keep calm and carry on. So I'll do just that. <sighs> the only good thing is, is that it's not that busy right now, which is a really good thing because otherwise this park does fill up later on in the afternoon. So I will post more later on. Thank you. I just came back from my run in the park and I'm sweating profusely. It has been about two weeks. Well, it's two weeks and one day since I did find out that I have diabetes. I have been trying to exercise regularly and to make myself do a five kilometer run. It isn't like a full run where I'm running all the time. It's running, walking, fast paced, trying to get the blood going. It's not particularly easy. I, I think I am still suffering some of the effects of having COVID. So I'm trying to get the lungs actively taking in all this oxygen and trying to motivate myself. <sighs> so that's been interesting. Um, I am trying. It's not totally easy. As for food-wise, ha not having carbs isn't too hard. I think I had some pasta yesterday. I had some today, half a packet of the 250 grams. So that wasn't too much. I, I think I've only had two beers since this whole process happened. A pint and then like a, like, I think two pints. So I've had two pints. So it's not, too bad. I think I can't go from 0 to 180 overnight. That's not going to happen. I think that the body is coping, as am I, and I think it's just step by step, and it's knowing that I may have some shortfalls, and I may fail here or there, but I think just as long as I keep my eye on the prize and to reduce the carbs and the alcohol and stuff. I think that's the way to go. So yeah, um, stay tuned for more on my progress 
on my video diaries. Bye. Well, I came back from my general health and well-being session with the dietitian nurse and I have some info. I lost about four kilos in maybe three weeks. But I still need to lose about 20 kilos to get to my ideal weight. So that is a work in progress. She liked the fact of me not being a smoker because that also increases the risk factors. I think that my blood pressure was on the high side. So I think that that's something that I need to work on. I think for cholesterol and blood fats, it is on the high level. So Below 4 is low risk, um, 4 to 5 is more risk, and above 5 is risk. I think that I scored an 8.3, so I think I need to go on a low cholesterol, low fat type of diet. So yeah, this is something to watch. Um, <laughs> there seems to be so much wrong with me, oh my gosh. So they also took urine samples because I didn't give urine last time so they're going to start monitoring that and the blood test is a 90 which which checks how well my kidneys are working ideally the best result is under 60 so i need to work on that And another thing, they will do a scan in the back of my eyes, like a retina test to see what the diabetes is causing for my eyes. It's just, I think that there's so much information and there, there's so much to get my head around. I think that I was given all this information. She printed off lots of stuff for me to read on my own and support group and stuff. I don't even know how to make sense of this yet. I think it's going to take a gradual effect for me to fully understand what I can and can't do. It's so overwhelming. I don't even know how to describe it. But that's the info for now and I'll keep you posted once more. Well, I am still on my health kick and it's all a matter of getting out and enjoying the sunshine even when i really don't want to and i really don't because i've been out all day and been walking to appointments and stuff but i think it's all about putting in the steps and making a difference little by little to my health and to my weight and trying to get what ailments I have to go down. So yeah, it's a work in progress and I think I am making some progress and it's a really nice day to be out. So I need to continue this more often, especially um, right now before the weather gets cold. So yeah. It's been a month now since my high cholesterol, diabetes diagnosis came in. I am able to do one lap around my local park without stopping slowly. So it's slowly building the momentum and getting back into the groove of things. So I'm happy about that. I. I'm happy that I did lose some weight and the cravings aren't that bad and alcohol intake is all right as well. I am still restricting, but I'm not being that harsh because I am cutting in other areas. <sighs> it's a balancing act and I need to make an appointment with, um, the organization called Desmond, 
which deals with diabetes, so I have to do that um, the, in the next couple of days. So yeah, it's onwards and upwards, and hopefully I'll have more to report next time. Bye for now! Well, I came back recently from the trip from New York, and I ate a bunch of stuff that you would on holiday, like ice cream, pizzas, and all the things that you're not supposed to be eating. <clears throat> so I guess right now it's all about getting back to normal and going back onto my diet and and doing exercise and liking it I suppose. So I'm starting with three kilometers today and I'm gonna work my way up from there. But yeah, that's about it for me. Well, I have some good news. I did manage to do my five kilometers. This is about a week and a half after my trip back from New York. And I think I still am feeling rather out of shape so I think I just need to keep up this pace and go back onto my diet hi it's me again I am busy getting in some much needed steps because it's gonna be extremely hot today because of the heat wave in August and I feel like I can't go out during the daytime because it's too hot and I don't want to squander this opportunity to take in some fresh air and enjoy this park when it's nice and quiet. I know that my body will thank me later even though I am really not liking any of this at the moment. But I guess sometimes you have to do what you don't want to do, but it is good for you in the long run. So here comes more exercise for me. Well, I made it to the Uxbridge Health Center for my diabetes test. I'm not sure exactly what that will entail. I have a feeling that they will be putting a yellow dye into my eye to get a proper read of what the situation is in my eyes. So it's not totally scary. I just kind of want to know whether diabetes will impact me at this current time. My appointment is at 9 o'clock on a sunny, hot August. I do you want to know what I will find out and I think that it's good that I find out and it's better you know than not know that's what I'm saying so I will be right back and inform you what goes on after the eye screening well I just came out of my eye screening test she first put eye drops in my eyes. I had to wait 10 minutes. Um, and then I had to follow the light, the flashing light. Um, I had to take, she had to take like a screenshot of my eye and the pupil and to see where and how bad the uh, diabetes is impacting my eyes. Um, the results are in. She said that the middle part where the eyeball is, um, that was okay. She said that if there was anything to be concerned about, I'd have to go back every three to six months, but she was very happy with the progress of my eyes and I would have to go back every year for them to monitor the progress of 
what a diabetes is having on my eyesight. So for the most part, my eyesight is fine and there isn't any retina issues for me. So I'm very happy about that. So yeah, um, I'm not letting diabetes get the best of me. So I think that that's the most important thing to take away from this today. So I have attended my first Desmond session. It was very, very informative. They broke it down into what happens when the body processes sugars and carbohydrates and the impact of this glucose having on your body. And then she went into details about how it, it impacts the, the insulin levels and I am still kind of surprised or overwhelmed with all this information. All I know is it impacts the pancreas and the liver and I really don't want to screw up those two organs and the best treatment and the best medicine is to cut the intakes and also exercise a lot more than I have been doing. So that's what I'm doing right now. Every little helps and I know that I will be doing a lot more of this even on days that I don't want to do any of this. But I know it's good for me in the long run and I want to be not classified as a diabetic. So I'm putting the effort in and fingers crossed I do get there everyone. But I think that the Desmond thing was a huge success. So more for me next time. I finished the second day of the Desmond session. It normally lasts two sessions if you are doing it via Zoom. So it was a continuation from yesterday, but sh but I think today built on diet aspect of things. And I think it made more sense because yesterday we were just given all this information and we didn't really have time to process everything. So I appreciate the fact of us having the time to digest all the information that was given. And I'm really happy that I attended this session and got clarity on do's and don'ts. Today I learned about saturated fats, unsaturated fats. They're all bad for you, but the unsaturated fats are slightly better in that they don't clog the arteries. So I think that my group was fairly mixed. Um, it was a good cross section of the population and, and I think that the group setting did help. Um, maybe it would have been better to go in in person but I didn't have the time and I think that I thought it would have given me more flexibility to do it by Zoom. I'm very appreciative that that the Desert program was so informative and I think all of us did get a proper understanding of what we are up against and I think it just will help us in the long run so for that I'm very grateful and I'm going to be doing more healthier options in the future. Alright, bye for now. It's September and I feel that the Desmond program did put me on the right track to 
leading a more healthier life. In the weeks and months ahead, I think that things are still going to be a little challenging. I'm trying to stay away from beer. I am dabbling somewhat in whiskey. Um, and the exercise is still ongoing right now. And I am pushing myself to go even when the weather's pretty bad outside, but I think I'm still managing to push myself, which is a good thing. So yeah, I think it's gonna be an ongoing challenge from here on end.